Welcome to the video. In this lesson, you will learn how to make comparisons using as, as. You will learn how to compare qualities, quantities, and how something is done. When comparing qualities, we'll use as, adjective, as. When comparing quantities, we'll use as, noun, as. And to compare how something is done, you'll use as, adverb, as. Also, with this form, it is possible to make comparisons of equality using a positive sentence or inequality or inequality using a negative sentence. The first thing we'll look at is the grammar and meaning. Then we'll look at other patterns that can follow the second as. After that, we'll look at using similes to speak metaphorically. And finally, we'll review the most common errors that students make when trying to use this form. Let's get started with comparisons using as, adjective, as. First, we'll practice making comparisons of equality. Oh, Emily, would you be so kind as to give us an example? My dad is as strong as Superman. Thanks, Emily. Let's analyze the grammatical pattern. We have the subject plus the verb, then as, adjective, as, followed by a noun phrase. Once more, the sentence is, Emily's dad. Hello. That's the subject, is, the verb, as strong as, Superman. In this sentence, Emily is saying that her dad and Superman are equal in strength. Because they are equal, the truth of the sentence is not affected if we switch the order. So you could say, Superman is as strong as Emily's dad. But the sense of the sentence would be a little bit different. Generally, the second noun is thought of as the standard to which the first noun is being compared. So in the first sentence, Superman is the paragon of strength to which Emily's dad is being compared. Hello. The second sentence seems a little bit strange be because Emily's dad is not particularly famous for his strength. So it is weird to compare Superman's strength to Emily's dad's strength. Let's see another example. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. O'Leary. <laughs> and this is Mr. Danaher. How are you? What can we say about them? Well, they certainly are fat. They are equally fat. In fact, in fact, I believe Mr. O'Leary is as fat as Mr. Danaher. And here is Mr. O'Leary's puppy. And this is Mr. Danaher's puppy. Aren't they cute? Oh, it's so tough to decide which is cuter than the other. I guess we'll have to say they are equally cute. So this puppy is as cute as that puppy. All right. Now here's... My condo, that's where I live. And this is my office. They are both four stories tall. They are equally tall. So you could say, my condo is as tall as my office. All right, now let's take a look at comparisons of inequality. Remember, if you want to say that two things are not equal, you must use a negative sentence. The pattern is as follows. Subject plus verb with the negative particle followed by as, adjective, as. Then we have the second noun phrase. Oh, Emily, how tall are you? I am 126 centimeters tall. And uh, Tyler, how tall are you? I'm a hundred centimeters tall. Emily is taller than Tyler. 
To write the comparison with as as, we'll say, Tyler isn't as tall as Emily. Now here's tubby old Mr. Danaher again. Hi there. And this is the even tubbier Mr. O'Flynn. <laughs> Will isn't as fat as Mr. O'Flynn. To tell you the truth, I think that's why they're friends. O'Flynn makes Will feel skinny. Now <laughs> look at this sad looking hound dog. This is Mr. O'Flynn's dog. And this little guy is Mr. Danaher's. <laughs> Clearly, Mr. Flynn's dog isn't as cute as Mr. Danaher's. And this is where Flynn lives. And this is Will Danaher's condo. Mr. Danaher's condo is taller than Mr. Flynn's. Flynn's condo isn't as tall as Mr. Danaher's. And now on to comparing quantities. To compare a quantity, we'll use as, noun, as. When comparing quantities, you need to use the structure as plus many or much plus noun plus as. It is very important that you remember to put many or much. Many is used before a countable noun and much before an uncountable noun. If you want to talk about inequality, you'll have to make the sentence negative. Excuse me, Emily, how many toys do you have? I have 39 toys. Wow, thank you. Um, Tyler, how many toys do you have? I have 39 toys. <laughs> Amazing, what a coincidence. They each have the same amount of toys. To write the comparison, we'll say Emily has as many toys as Tyler. Hey Emily, let me ask you another question. How many siblings do you have? I have two sisters. And uh, Tyler, how many siblings do you have? I don't have any siblings. Emily has more siblings than Tyler. Now, let's write the comparison. Remember, because this is a comparison of inequality, we will have to make it negative. Tyler doesn't have as many siblings as Emily. Notice how even though Tyler does not have any siblings, we still need to use a plural noun. This is because many must always be followed by a plural noun. Uh, Emily? How many pets do you have? I have a chihuahua named Chi-Chi. <coughs> and uh, Tyler, how many pets do you have? I have a turtle named Horace. <laughs> Incredible. They each have one pet. So they have an equal amount of pets. So because it's equal, the sentence will be positive. Emily has as many pets as Tyler. Again, notice how the noun pets is plural even though we're only talking about one pet. Let's ask the kids another question, shall we? Emily, how much money do you have? I have two pennies. And uh, Tyler, how about you? I have a jillion billion dollars, man. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure that's even a number, but let's go with it. Tyler has more money than Emily. We'll say, Emily, doesn't have as much money as Tyler. Um, Emily, how many cousins do you have? I have seven cousins. Tyler, how about you? I have seven too. Really, seven? Okay, they have an equal amount of cousins. This will be a positive sentence. Emily has as many cousins as Tyler. Uh, Emily, where were you born? I live in Toronto. Do you know how many people live in Toronto? Three million people. And Tyler, where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. How many people live in Mexico City? Twenty-five million. That's a lot. 
Okay, so Mexico City has more people than Toronto. Toronto doesn't have as many people as Mexico City. Now it's time to work on comparisons with as adverb as. Or not as adverb as. Hey, Emily, Tyler, could you guys help me with something? Let's see who can jump the furthest this time. On your marks, get set, go! Wow, it's a tie. You both jump the same distance. The structure should be familiar to you by now. We'll have subject plus verb, as adverb as, and then a noun phrase. Emily jumped as far as Tyler. Here's Pancho. Hey, cabron. And this Chinga is Emiliano. Prepárate pa morir. They both shoot with deadly accuracy. Pancho shoots as accurately as Emiliano. Now they've go both gone to the hospital and it's time for a rematch. Oh, you missed. Ooh, this time, Pancho shot more accurately than Emiliano. So this is a comparison of inequality. It will be negative. Emiliano didn't shoot as accurately as Pancho. Here's Johnny. Hello. He exercises a few times a week. So does Mark. They both exercise a few times a week. How do we write the comparison? Johnny exercises as often as Mark. This is Raekwon. He exercises every day. Johnny doesn't exercise as often as Raekwon. Here's Harry. <laughs> He's a little bit slow. <laughs> and this is Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd, how do you spell cat? K L five. Harry, how do you spell cat? <laughs> cat says meow. Sheesh, these guys are horrible. They are both terrible spellers. I guess we could say Harry spells as well as Lloyd, even though they're both terrible. Isn't ambiguity wonderful? Let's give Harry another chance. Harry, how do you spell dog? <laughs> I like doggies. Horrible. Maria, would you like to give it a try? D-O-G. Clearly, Maria spells better than Lloyd. Let's write the sentence using a negative verb. Harry doesn't spell as well as Maria. Throughout this video, I've been using noun phrases after the second as. There are other patterns that you can use. It is also possible to use a clause, an adjective, or an adverb. First, I'd like to show you some examples with a clause. Remember, a clause is a group of words with at least a subject and a verb. Vanessa is as pretty as she was in college. Henry is acting as crazily as he always does. Bill has as much money as Hillary. And now for the adjectives. John is working as hard as possible. Henry is acting as oddly as usual. Bill brought as much food as necessary. And finally, adverbs. The only one that I could think of is ever, and I worked on it as hard as I could, which is very hard indeed. John is working as hard as ever. Henry is acting as crazily as ever. Bill brought as much food as ever. Hmm. 
Now, using similes with as, as. A simile is a type of metaphorical language. A metaphor is uh, when you explain something by making a comparison to something else. The purpose is to emphasize a particular quality in someone or something in a rather dramatic way. Here are some common ones, but please feel free to invent your own. He's as stubborn as a mule. She's as brave as a lion. He's as quiet as a mouse. <laughs> He's as mad as a hatter. Well, I'm not a crook. He's as honest as a politician. This one, of course, is meant to be ironic. The more common form is, he's as crooked as a politician. That one's not ironic at all. And finally, <laughs> he's as old as dirt. Common errors. The most common errors that students make when using the as-as comparison are to mix in the ER or more or less than comparison form with the as-as. For example, I've heard students saying things like, Kevin is as stupider as Mark. Here the ER form of the adjective is being used between as-as. Don't do this. It is wrong. Check out this one. Greg is less happy as Tony. Ooh, this is also wrong, my friend. You're using less in place of the first as. Here's another example. Cliff is not as fat than Norm. <laughs> nice try, but also wrong, my friend. Then is being used in place of the second as. Let this be a warning to you. Never mix ER then or more or less than comparatives with the as as comparative. Here's a short video that has many examples of the as as comparison. Hi, my name's Emily. What's your name? My name's Tyler. I'm seven years old. How old are you? I'm five. I'm older than you. <laughs> yeah, well, I can jump really far. I can jump further than you. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't jump as far as me. Oh yeah, my dad is stronger than your dad. No way, Jose. My dad is as strong as a bear. He's the strongest. Well, my dad is as strong as a ox. Yeah, well, my dad is as strong as Iron Man. You don't know anything, you stupid boy. My dad is stronger than Superman, and nothing is stronger than Superman. Well, my dad is like kryptonite, and he can kick your dad's butt. I'm taller than you. But I'm stronger than you. Boys drool and girls rule. You're as dirty as a pig rolling in the mud. Nuh-uh. I'm twice as smart as you are. Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, what's 400 plus 400? Infinity. Ha! It's 800. I'll tell you what's infinity. I'm infinity times smarter than you. Well, that's it for this lesson. Have a great day.